The year was 1988. Every hotel, tourist bungalow and houseboat was packed to capacity. The dal was a buzz. Nearly a million tourists were holidaying in Jammu and Kashmir. Unfortunately, in 1989, suddenly a different variety of tourists arrived in the area, uninvited and unwanted. Militancy erupted, and as things worsened with time, the actual tourists fled. A pall of gloom settled on the Dal. The Shikara stood in silent queues. The Hanjis, or boat people, desperately sat in wait for someone to arrive. Similarly, when normalcy returned, with it came peace and the tourists began to return, first in trickles, then in droves. So lovely. I don't know. It's, it's like a dream. Militaries are present everywhere. Yeah, you see them, but very calm, very, um, very gentle, actually always smiling towards women anyway. And um, I must say I feel very safe. A definite indicator was the return of Hindi film industry crews which arrived for shooting in the valley. A boost both for tourism and the economy. Proving yet again, peace and development go hand in hand. Since last couple of years, things are getting better and uh, people feel very optimistic about the betterment of this place now. We have seen private sector investment coming in. I would say after 12 years, 13 years, after militancy you can say. Private, in, private say, yeah, they have, they have started coming in. We have like LG, we have Pepsi, we have so many people coming in. There are some textile units coming up. Then KK Birla, they, they are expanding their unit. While agriculture and horticulture has traditionally been the mainstay of the region's economy, Tourism has been a close third and number one in urban areas, providing employment directly and indirectly to thousands. The other important sector contributing to the economy of the state is the handicraft sector, which is also directly related with tourism. As long as uh, Kashmir is concerned, Kashmir ki pehchan to Kashmir it by itself. It is by itself a pehchan. Then, you know, handicrafts, uh, definitely, because, you know, there are handicrafts made in other parts of the country also, but those are entirely different. Like paper mache, for example, I'll tell you, they are not that is not made anywhere else in India. Carpets are made now in Delhi, Jaipur, Badoi, Agra and other places. But again, those and our carpets are entirely different. As tourism declined and markets shrunk, the exploitation of the artisans by middlemen increased. Unko jo kam hai, wo bhi kam ho gaya. Isliye zarurat is baat ki hai, wohi artisans unite hoke, organize hoke, khud hi kam start kare, initiative le, aur apna market khud dekhe. Kyunki market bahut zada hai. Kashmiri handicrafts ki demand all over the world hai. The craftsmen then began to travel to sell their products. These actual manufacturers, they are producing and selling directly to the consumers. They go out during the winter and sell their product. So their remuneration has improved. But perhaps one of the most important reasons for the economic turnaround is Peace for development and development for peace is the only way to ensure a smile on every face.